Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to talk about what weapons were used in the War of Troy, one of the most famous and epic wars in Greek mythology. The War of Troy was a legendary conflict between the Greeks and the Trojans, who lived in a city in western Anatolia, now Turkey. The war was triggered by the abduction of Helen, the most beautiful woman in the world, by Paris, a prince of Troy, who had been promised her by Aphrodite, the goddess of love. The war lasted for ten years and ended with the fall of Troy, thanks to a clever trick by the Greeks, who hid inside a wooden horse and entered the city at night. But what weapons did the Greeks and the Trojans use to fight each other? How did they compare in terms of technology and effectiveness? Let's find out. The main weapon of both sides was the spear, Doru, which was a long wooden shaft with a metal point at one end and a metal butt spike at the other. The spear was used for thrusting or throwing, and it could penetrate armor and shields. The spear was usually held with one hand, while the other hand held a shield, Aspies, which was a large round or oval piece of wood covered with leather or bronze. The shield protected the body from enemy attacks and could also be used as a weapon to bash or push opponents. The shield had a handle and a strap that allowed it to be carried on the arm or on the back. Another weapon that was used by both sides was the sword, Ziphos, which was a short double-edged blade with a metal hilt. The sword was used for slashing or stabbing, and it was carried in a scabbard on a belt or on a baldric across the chest. The sword was a secondary weapon that was used when the spear broke or was lost. The sword was also useful for close combat or fighting in confined spaces. Some warriors also used axes, Pele case, which were metal blades attached to wooden handles. The axes were used for chopping or hacking, and they could cause severe damage to armor and flesh. The axes were either single-headed or double-headed, and they varied in size and shape. Some axes were light and fast, while others were heavy and powerful. Hand-to-hand -hand combat was not the only way to fight in the War of Troy. Both sides also used ranged weapons, such as bows, toxa, javelins, akansha, and slings svendani. Bows were made of wood or horn, and they shot arrows, oyster, that had metal tips or stone heads. Bows had different ranges and accuracies depending on their size and shape. Some bows were short and curved, while others were long and straight. Javelins were similar to spears, but they were lighter and shorter, and they had leather straps or loops that helped with throwing. Javelins were used for hurling at enemies from a distance or from horseback. Slings were made of leather or wool, and they shot stones, lit hoy, or lead bullets, molybdos, that could cause serious injuries or even death. Slings were cheap and easy to make, but they required skill and practice to use effectively. These are some of the weapons that were used in the War of Troy by both Greeks and Trojans. They show us how diverse and sophisticated ancient warfare was, and how much it depended on strategy, skill, and courage. We hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new about these ancient weapons. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the bell icon to get notified of our new videos. See you next time.